Please all stand and let us pray the morning offering. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. O Jesus, through the Immaculate Heart of Mary and the Faithful Heart of Joseph, I offer you my prayers, works, joys, and sufferings of this day in union with the Holy Sacrifice of the Mass throughout the world. I offer them for the intentions of your Sacred Heart, the salvation of souls, reparation for sin, the reunion of all Christians. I offer them for the intentions of our bishops and all the clergy, and in particular for the intentions of the Holy Father for the month of August. For World Youth Day, we pray the World Youth Day in Lisbon will help young people to live and witness the gospel in their own lives. Amen. We apply to your patronage, O Holy Mother of God, despise not our petition in our necessities, but deliver us always from all dangers, O glorious and blessed Virgin. Amen. Please be seated for a while. Good morning, brothers and sisters. Welcome to Eucharistic Celebration. Today is Wednesday of the 18th week in Ordinary Time. Our Mass Presider is Reverend Father Danichi We. Please all stand. begin our celebration in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. Brethren, let us acknowledge our sins, and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and in what I have failed to do. Through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault, therefore I ask Blessed Mary, ever Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Let us pray. Draw near to your servants, O Lord, 
and answer their prayers with unceasing kindness, that for those who glory in you as their Creator and Guide, you may restore what you have created and keep safe what you have restored. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the book of Numbers. The Lord said to Moses, Send men to reconnoiter the land of Canaan, which I am giving the children of Israel. You shall send one man from each ancestral tribe, all of them princes. After reconnoitering the land for forty days, they returned met Moses and Aaron and the whole congregation of the children of Israel in the desert of Paran at Kadesh. May the report to them all and show the fruit of the country to the whole congregation. They told Moses, We went into the land to which you sent us. It does indeed flow with milk and honey, and here is its fruit. However, the people who are living in the land are fierce, and the towns are fortified and very strong. Besides, we saw descendants of the Anakim there. Amalekites live in the region of the Negev. Hittites, Jebusites, and Amorites dwell in the highlands and Canaanites along the sea coast and the banks of the Jordan. Caleb, however, to quiet the people toward Moses, said, We ought to go up and seize the land, for we can certainly do so. But the man who had gone up with him said, We cannot attack these people. They are too strong for us. So they spread discouraging reports among the children of Israel about the land they had scouted, saying, The land that we explored is a country that consumes its inhabitants, and all the people we saw there are huge, veritable giants. We felt like mere grasshoppers, and so we must have seemed to them. At this, the whole community broke out with loud cries, and even in the night, the people wailed. The Lord said to Moses and Aaron, How long will this wicked assembly grumble against me? I have heard the grumblings of the children of Israel against me. Tell them, By my life, says the Lord, I will do to you just what I have heard you say. Here in the desert shall your dead bodies fall. Forty days you spent in counting the land. Forty years shall you suffer for your crimes, one year for each day. Thus you will realize what it means to oppose me. I, the Lord, have sworn to do this to all this wicked assembly that conspired against me. Here in the desert, they shall die to the last man. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Remember us, O Lord, as you favor your people. Remember us, O Lord, as you favor your people. We have seen we and our fathers. We have committed crimes. We have done wrong. Our fathers in Egypt considered not your wonders. Remember us, O Lord, as you favor your people. But soon they forgot his works. They waited not for his counsel. 
They gave way to craving in the desert and tempted God in the wilderness. Remember us, O Lord, as you favor your people. They forgot the God who had saved them, who had done great deeds in Egypt, wondrous deeds in the land of Ham, terrible things at the Red Sea. Remember us, O Lord, as you favor your people. Then he spoke of exterminating them, but Moses, his chosen one, withstood him in the bridge to turn back his destructive wrath. Remember us, O Lord, as you favor your people. Please all stand to honor the Holy Gospel. has risen in our midst, and God has visited His people. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. Matthew. Glory to you, O Lord. At that time, Jesus withdrew to the region of Tyre and Sidon. And behold, a Canaanite woman of that district came and called out, Have pity on me, Lord, son of David. My daughter is tormented by a demon. But he did not say a word in answer to her. His disciples came and asked him, Send her away for she keeps calling out after us. He said in reply, I was sent only to the lost sheep of the house of Israel. But the woman came and did him homage, saying, Lord, help me. He said in reply, It is not right to take the food of the children and throw it to the dogs. She said, Please, Lord, for even the dogs eat the scraps that fall from the table of their masters. Then Jesus said to her in reply, O woman, great is your faith. Let it be done for you as you wish and her daughter was healed from that hour my friends the gospel of the lord praise to you lord jesus christ good morning my dear brothers and sisters test of faith is what our readings would want to impart to us. Test of faith. Pagsubok sa pananampalataya. As in our first reading, the Lord instructed Moses to send men who will reconnoiter. Ano ba yun, Father? Ang lalim naman. He sent people who will reconnoiter in the land of Canaan. Reconnoiter, ibig sabihin sa Tagalog, maniniktik. Naintindihan niyo pa rin po ba yun? 
maniniktik o magmamanman. Oh, yan mas ma, mas maintindihan na natin, no? Sabi ng Panginoon kay Moises, mamili ka ng mga pinuno o ng mga malalakas. Pili mo 'yung mga leader, pili mo 'yung mga galing na maniniktik sa lupain ng kanaan. Because that land, the Lord will give it to the children of Israel. Kasi ibibigay niya iyon sa mga Israelita. Punta kayo, manmanan niyo, tignan ninyo. Kung baga, uh, i-ocular ninyo. Yan, no? Tignan ninyo. Tignan niyo muna. Take note of this. God told Moses to choose among the many. Piliin mo ng mabuti yung magagaling. And so, they went back after going to Canaan to report what they have seen. Para iulat, sabihin kung ano yung nakita nila doon. For Canaan was a place of flowing milk and honey. Kumbaga, mayaman na lugar ang Canaan. Pero nakita rin nila na malalakas yung mga tao doon. Malalaki, higante. Sabi nga eh, hanggang bewang lang sila. Kumbaga, hindi nila kayang sakupin. Hindi nila kayang mapa sa kanila ang lupain sapagkat malalakas ang mga tao doon. Hindi nila kaya. Take note again, yung kanina, di ba? Sila yung piling mga tao. Magagaling sila on their own. Malalakas sila. Pero ano nakita nila? Yung lakas, laki at galing ng iba. Kaya, feeling nila, hindi natin kaya. However, a man named Caleb was the only one who was courageous and persistent in invading the land of Canaan. Siya lang. Siya lang yung puro sigido at malakas ang loob. Sige, kunin natin. Mapa sa atin. Ang ganda ng lugar, mayaman. Anyway, ito yung gusto ng Panginoon para sa atin. But the others opposed. For they know they cannot do it. Kaya naman, mas na-impluensyahan ng mga mahihina ang loob, ang karamihan. Ininfluence nila, di natin kaya. Malalaki ang tao doon. Ako, di natin kaya yan. Mahirap yan. Wag na. Kaya naman, ganun na lang ang kanilang reklamo sa Diyos. Kau naman, Lord, ang hirap-hirap ng pinagagawa mo. Alam mong hindi namin kaya ang lalaki noon. Alam mong mahina kami, malalakas sila. Hindi namin kaya. Ganyan ang mga Israelita. They forgot. They were chosen. They were the best. Nakita ng Panginoon yung galing nila. Kaya nga sila yung ipapadala eh. Isang malakas ang loob. Caleb at isang grupo ng mahihina ang loob. Samantala, kung lakas lang ng loob naman ang pag-uusapan, isang Canaanite woman ang may lakas ng loob na tumawag kay Jesus para humingi ng tulong na pagalingin ang kaniyang anak na babae na sinasapian ng demonyo. That was what happened in our gospel today. A Canaanite woman shouting and asking for Jesus to help her daughter, to heal her daughter. Lakas ng loob kasi ang mga Canaanite at Israelita ay magkakaaway. Di ba nga sinakop ng Israelita ang lupain ng Canaan? Magkakaaway yan. Kaya lakas ng loob nitong babae na ito na humingi ng tulong sa isang Israelita. Para sa outsider, sa mga taong nakapaligid, 
malakas ang loob nitong Canaanite woman para humingi ng tulong at sumigaw. Pero para sa babae, hindi lakas ng loob. It was not courage, but it was faith. Faith. Paulit-ulit niyang sinasabi, Panginoon. He, she was referring to Jesus as Lord. Imagine mo yon, kaaway mo ang tawag mo Panginoon. Kaaway ng lahi mo ang tawag mo Panginoon. At hindi pa natapos doon, nanikluhod siya. Lumuhod. Because Jesus tested her faith. As Jesus said, I was only sent to the lost sheep of the house of Israel. Parang sinasabi ni Jesus, hindi ako pinadala para sa inyo. Pinadala ako para sa mga Israelita. Israelita lang ang tutulungan ko. But the Canaanite woman did him homage. Lumuhod at nagmakaawa at sinabing, Tulungan ninyo po ako, Panginoon. Lord, help me. Hindi ba dapat po ganyan ang sinasabi? Ang pananampalataya kapag nahaharap sa pagsubok, imbis na reklamo ang sinasambit, dapat ang sinasabi, tulungan po ninyo ako, Panginoon. Pero ang mga mahihina ang loob o walang pananampalataya, reklamo ang sasabihin. Hindi namin kaya Panginoon. My dear brothers and sisters, this is the message, very basic and simple message of our readings for today. In times of trial, sa oras ng pagsubok, ikaw ba ay mapanghihinaan ng loob o lalakasan mong yung loob o mananampalataya? Isa lang, ang sasabihin kung pananampalataya ang paiiralin, tulungan po ninyo ako, Panginoon. Amen. Please all stand. Because of her humility and love for her daughter, Jesus answered the petition of a pagan woman. Let us pray that our love may be encompassing, not exclusive or selective. For every prayer we shall say, Lord, show us your mercy to all. Lord, show your mercy to all. May the Church make herself a servant of Jesus, love and mercy, and transmit mercy to all people irrespective of race, religion, and cultural beliefs, we pray. Lord, show your mercy to all. May government leaders and agencies attend to people in time of need, irrespective of their political affiliation, we pray. Lord, show your mercy to all. May we have recourse to God with genuity and trust, knowing that all that we have and all that will come from Him, we pray. Lord, show your mercy to all. May we not boast of our accomplishments, but say rather, we are useless servants. We have done nothing more than our duty. We pray. Lord, show your mercy to all. May mothers so grieve because of their children who are ill or who have gone astray experience the same help that Jesus bestowed upon the Canaanite woman, we pray. Lord, show your mercy to all. In silence, we pray for our personal intentions. We also pray for our parish priest, Father Lito, as he celebrates his birthday today. We pray, 
Lord, show your mercy to all. Lord God, your mercy is upon all, even on those who do not acknowledge you as God. May all recognize the signs of your fatherly love, and so in gladness confess you as one true God and Father of our human race. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine, and work of human hands, it will become for us our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Pray, brethren, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and the glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. Graciously sanctify these gifts, O Lord, we pray, and accepting the oblation of this spiritual sacrifice, make of us an eternal offering to you through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just. Our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For although you have no need of our praise, yet our thanksgiving is itself your gift, since our praises add nothing to your greatness, but profit us for salvation through Christ our Lord. And so, in company with the choirs of angels, we praise you and with joy we proclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is a chalice of my blood, the blood of a new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. Save us, Savior of the world, for by your cross and resurrection you have set us free. 
Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of His death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis our Pope, Jose our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, and with him, and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. At the Savior's command, and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Peace be with you. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold Him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. The body of Christ. Amen.
So stand. Let us pray. Accompany with constant protection, O Lord, those you renew with these heavenly gifts, and in your never failing care for them, make them worthy of eternal redemption. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you and with your spirit and may almighty god bless you the father and the son and the holy spirit amen our celebration has ended go in peace to love and serve our lord thanks be to god <clears throat>